Alright, today we are going to be making texture in clay and making clay owls or clay gukukuus in Ojibwe. So the first thing you're going to do is going to get a ball of clay and you should take off a few pieces for eyes and a beak and maybe if you want to add feet to your owl. So maybe like four pieces or a small handful of extra clay. Then you're going to roll your clay into a ball. You can either roll it on the mat or in your hands. But try to get it pretty close, pretty round for the next step. Then you're going to take a roller and you're going to roll out your clay. So I usually do a little bit of roll one way, turn it, roll the other way. Because for this project, you kind of want to create a circle shape when you roll. Then I'm going to lift it up and check and see how thick it is. All right, so it's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's kind of like you want it about as thick as your pinky or a pancake. should resemble a pancake. If you want, you can kind of smooth out the edges now as well. All right, now the first step is to add a little bit of feather texture. Um, this is going to end up being the, the tummy of your gukuku or owl. So what you can do is take a marker cap, and instead of using and making the whole circle to as a challenge, try to only use part of the cap. So I'm going to try to just make feather texture by using half of the marker cap and I'm going to fill my clay with some feather texture. And I'm not pushing really hard because I don't want to make a hole. See? I'm just pressing very lightly. Let's patch that up and smooth it. Smooth it real nice. And then just gently adding in the feather texture. And if you want, you can fill the whole thing with texture, but really you only need the middle part to be feather texture. All right. The next step is going to be folding over the wings. So you're going to lift up the end and fold it to the middle. And then you're going to press it down and smooth. The sm smoothing creates a texture too, the texture of smooth. So feathers and smooth. Then you're going to take the other wing and kind of flip that to the middle and push down. And I really like smoothing out all these little creases. It looks a lot better. You can really see the next texture if you do this. So smoothing it out really nicely. All right. The next step is going to be to fold over the head. So what I'm going to do is take the top part, fold it over. I didn't fold it halfway, I just folded it a little bit and then push down and smooth. Now if you want your, if you want this to be an owl, you can kind of pinch the little feather horns up, smooth. But maybe if you want it to be like more like an eagle, you can kind of smooth it and make a round eagle head instead. Then, let's smooth that out. Then you're gonna wanna add in eyes and a beak. So my eyes are gonna be about there. And my beak, probably gonna be right there. So I've made these little finger marks so that I know. I'm gonna take a little bit of extra clay because I don't want a really big eye. I'm gonna take that clay, put it in my palm, and roll a circle. So then I have one eye. Make another eye. Take a little piece of clay, put it in your palm and roll it. And another eye. Now, I can't just set these in here for eyes. They'll fall out uh, when it dries. They'll fall off in the kiln. Uh, so what I have to do is I have to scratch and attach. So take your pencil and make your scratches where your finger indent is. You also have to scratch on the eye itself. So one, 
two. And then you need to use slip. So basically watered down clay. I'm gonna put a little bit of slip in there and there. Then I'm gonna take my eye, scratch his face down, and smush my eye on. Take the other one and give it a little smush. Smush and then smooth. All right, now I need to add a beak right here. So I'm gonna take a piece of clay and to make a beak, you basically need to make a triangle. So I'm gonna use my fingers and just pinch into a point and then use my other finger to kind of tap. And then I kind of smush it to make it flat. So pinch, tap, and then I have a triangle for the beak. And again, I can't just set it on here, so I'm gonna make scratch marks on there and on the beak. I'm going to use my slip right there and smoosh the beak on. Alright, now I have my owl's face. If you want to add special texture to the eyes, you could kind of draw in those cute little circles for if it's kind of like a cartoon. Or you, I've seen students add eyelashes to their owl. Uh, maybe you want to add a couple nose holes. Then for the wings, you want to try to get a feather texture. You can either try to draw it in with your pencil to kind of draw these loop-de-loops to make feathers that way. Or you can draw the long feathers this way. Just kind of smooth it. And I've seen students add little little diagonal lines to make that feather texture that way. Or another thing you can do is you can kind of, you know, experiment with that marker cap and try to add more of the feathers that way. Maybe you like that texture and then some of those lines to add for your owl. All right, then if you want to add feet, you can take a chunk of clay and to add a foot I add three pinches, so one, two pinches, and three to make kind of like that little talon or claw for it. And I'm gonna take another piece and pinch and pinch and pinch and set it down. Then I can't just leave these on here. I have to scratch and attach. So let's see, I want the feet there. I'm going to make my scratches. Scratch on the foot. On the foot. And I'm going to add a little bit of slip, slip. And then smoosh. And smoosh. I've seen some students add a foot by making kind of like a long leg. And then they attach the foot like this, but this part usually breaks off and then you have no foot. So I usually just make these little feet because then they stay on and they don't break off. Um, if you want, then if you want, you can take your pencil and put a hole in the middle of your owl. That way you can hang it up on the wall later if you want. When it's all done, you could hang it on the wall with a little nail there. Um, on the back, you can write your name. I'm just going to put an X for an extra. And then I'm done with my clay gukukuu, my clay owl.